I'd just like to um, welcome Rex here today from his, his country. He's been having a bit of trouble over there. Uh, I'm my back, back and your man. Been on embassy for a while. I come and go, walk about man. But in saying that, I'd like to welcome Rex first to the embassy and then also to um, his sympathy from the uh, four nations I represent the Nimba, Nimpa, Wongipan, Wallowan tribe from back home, Burke and Bree, <coughs> and all that area. And um, his atrocity he's going through at the moment started in '63. And um, I, I'll just get the, you to uh, Rex to give you a rough idea of the atrocity that him and his countrymen are going through, the same one we went through. And we're still going through the day, 29, uh, 229 years later. Um, Rex, would you just like to introduce yourself? Uh, I am Rex uh, Rumakek, one of the leaders of the United Liberation for West Papua. Can you talk Liberation up a little bit more? Yes, uh, <clears throat> I originally uh, been a freedom fighter. I am guerrilla fighter in the bush and then they send me out for diplomatic work. So that's what I'm doing ever since. Since 70, they send me out, and I'm still out there working on this, uh, this pop one issue. Uh, thank you very much uh, for inviting me to your land, Pabak. Because uh, I believe we share the same story, the same kind of oppression, the same kind of intimidation, and all the stories about your land being taken away, but that is our story as well. There are many people died in our struggle because they want to defend the land and they want to be free. And they've been killed for nothing. Yes, for the reason for, for defending the country, they have to be killed. We are at the moment seeking international support and we already have a Melanesian countries are supporting us. It's waiting to take the issue to the United Nations. That's the only remaining thing to be done. Have you been to the United Nations before, Rex? I've been there several times, uh, but just observing. There was no concrete discussion on the you issue. You are now ready to take your case to this the time, United Nations? This time, yes. This time we have to go down to really discussing the issue. They have to put it on the agenda to be discussed. It's a procedural thing. At the moment, they raise it as part of the speeches, national speeches, annual speeches. They include it in our national speeches, so it's not really discussed. But when you put it on the agenda to be discussed, and then decisions can be made. I, uh, are you looking at um, such things as, as war crimes that they've done, the genocide they've done to your people since '63? Yeah, or such things, or, or, or am I too personal asking you? your case that you have taken to the United Nations? Yeah, there is a, a genocide uh, war going on. been uh, accepted by the international community there is a genocide going on. But uh, to resolve it, uh, we have to tackle the political issue of the Spapuan first. Because that is the key. Uh, they have been taking this uh, human right, serious human rights cases to you. Geneva, but you cannot expect Indonesia to prosecute uh, those involved in human rights abuses because they are simply carrying out uh, government policies. It's the government that is at fault, not the people who commit uh, human rights abuses. You have elections there every when, when so often, Rex? Uh, there is a five years uh, term of uh, government, so they have uh, elections, uh, but uh, we have. Uh, no trust in the colonial system to be involved in elections. Because in, 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 uh, in saying that, I want to say this is that the power of the people. Put the people into power. When is your next election? Uh, I don't, uh, I'm not aware of the dates, but uh, as I said, uh, we don't trust the elections, yeah, colonial okay. government elections. So we don't okay. want to, if uh, any body participate only for the money, but uh, to be really in power to govern the people, people don't trust the government. Uh, is there anything that you would like to sort of say from your heart 
to the camera and to yeah, the one thing the that uh, uh, struck me was uh, your case of uh, lost generations. We have this thing going on in West Papua as well. Say that again. The lost generation. The star the people, generation. People, people, been, children have been taken away from their mothers and yeah. their families. Well, see, this is uh, wrong. The government is. We have the same yeah. thing going on in West Papua at the moment. Yeah, I, 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 I would just like to put my case to the camera and to yourself, Rex. Is that in all my my time of knowledge and travel, I, I, I've never known where a human being can get stolen. Yet the government has put a a thing out to say that the stolen generation. Now, Rex, I can steal your pretty shirt. I can steal your nice brown boots, boogities. But I can't steal you. That's kidnapping. Yeah. And so this is why I fight a battle on this beautiful, sovereign, sacred ground where I come to live. For this battle. Um, you, you, it's kidnapping. And they just use the word to, to, to say, yeah, it, 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 it we, we stole that child. I can steal a camera, I can steal a monocar. You take a child as kidnapping. Over 70,000 of my children, 200, 29 years, and they call it Stalin. Nowhere else in the world. You take a child as kidnapping. So this is how fraud this government is. And we ain't got a word of truth. Uh, the, the, word, the word of truth is that we have no word of sorry. You know, uh, and, and I appreciate the, the um, government touring that stood up and said sorry to us, but there's no such word of sorry in my language. It's a poor excuse for a man's responsibility. I couldn't take a young fellow out and on land or teaching him to do things and crocodile get him or something get him and come up and tell the old man, I'm sorry, old man, that boy, you know, he's never come back, he's dead. I can't say that. Old man just spear me. No, sorry. And yet they use it today a word of influence that it's a good thing. It's a word should be stricken from the from the books. Poor excuse for your responsibility. And I'm sorry about that, but I'm um, getting back to your story again, Rex. I do apologize for that. Yeah, in connection with that the stolen generation at the moment in West Papua there is a, a very big operation going on. Uh, children being taken from the mothers and the families, taken to Java in Indonesia, where they are brainwashed, change their names to different names, Japanese names, and also the religion they change to Muslim. And they are basically trained to hate their families. So when they are sent back after they become adult, they don't uh, respect the families anymore. That's the purpose of training them away from home. So they will be uh, dest destroying their own culture. This is going on. One day it will come out in a big report and everybody will be surprised what it is going on at the moment. Not not few, ten, but hundreds of them have been taken to Java and been retrained, been indoctrinized, been brainwashed, and changed their names and their religion as well. That's our stolen generation. But also they were kidnapped. Yeah, that's kidnapping. That's kidnapping. We forced. And I think you should use that in your defense too. Oh, yeah. You can't steal a human being. Yeah. Anyhow, Joe, look, I, I would, as a traditional man, I would like to welcome you to the embassy and in your battle and struggle, the same fight I fight, which is people that city. I, our fight, we fight together, and in this year, 
we will get a truth out of it all and a rightful life with the government. This uh, land? Uh, yes. It's your land? In yes. My hand? Yes. Symbolizing my own country and my land as well. Because we are fighting for the same land, same. sacred land that passed down from our ancestors. Now we have to defend it, continue defending it, and pass it on to the next generation. Because uh, our fellow American Indians, Native Indians, American Indians, once they said, this land is not my land because I borrow it from future generations. So what I borrow, I must just return it intact in good condition to the next generation. That's what I'm going to do with my land. And we support you with your battle rights. Yeah. Me and my people from this country. Thank you. And your children. Yeah. I hope we don't have no more. Yeah. But if there's anything that we can do as traditional people of this land, you and your people, I will give you my phone number before you go, where you can personally get in contact with me. And if there's anything I can do for you and your people in your country, Rex, yeah. please Thank you very much. And I thank you for coming today thank you and for telling your story to the people that will be watching this video because it's most important that you do watch it because the man didn't come so far for nothing. And the same battle we're fighting here is what they're doing on their country to their children. <coughs> and 229 years later, it's still happening. So to this atrocity that has been going on for so long, there must be a hand somewhere. A truth. Come together as one. Come to the embassy on the weekend and we'll start a truth. Then we'll look at a treaty. And I thank you for his time and I do thank Rex again for his time and your story. Thank you very much.